Tensions rising in Hong Kong. Hundreds arrested after those violent protests. Senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is tracking the very latest. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Michael. Just look at the scene here. We are right in the heart of the business district of Asia's financial hub. And look at it. It's awash with riot police. There have been clashes with protesters as these protests don't just go on, but they've started to take a darker turn. This morning, anti-government protests in Hong Kong reaching a new level of violence, as police now say they arrested over 260 people in just one day, most are students. Demonstrators are angry their demands for more freedom from China and police accountability aren't being met. A mob of protesters ganging up on this one man in white, a sign of how intolerant and angry this movement has become, as others run through a shopping mall, smashing windows. Hong Kong's chief executive issuing a stern warning. If there is still any wishful thinking that by escalating violence, the Hong Kong ASEAN government will yield to pressure to satisfy the so-called political demands, I'm making this statement clear and loud here. That will not happen. But violence is raging on both sides. Authorities clashing directly with protesters at the Chinese university, firing tear gas and rubber bullets into the crowd. Overnight, police indiscriminately blasting protesters with water cannons. This latest violence unfolding just one day after this officer fired his weapon at a demonstrator standing just feet away. And a Chinese government supporter was doused in a flammable liquid and set on fire. Both are still in hospital. Despite this escalation, protesters say they have no intention of stopping until their demands are met. We are so angry about the police brutality and the violence that happened uh, like in the past five months in Hong Kong. Overnight, the State Department condemning violence on both sides, urging them to engage in a sincere dialogue. You can see the situation on the ground. There is no talking. And Beijing has warned about the role of what it describes as foreign forces interfering. Robin? It remains a very tense situation there. All right, Ian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.